In this short lesson, we'll be discussing structural isomers and answering a few questions. What you'll need to know is that a structural isomer is when two or more molecules share the same molecular formulas but have different structures. And this is not to be confused with stereoisomers, which is when atoms are bonded in the same sequence but differ in the way that they are arranged in space. This concept will be covered in a later video. So continuing on with the question, identify each pair of formulas as structural isomers or the same molecule. I want to begin by writing out the molecular formula for both. They both have four carbons, so C4, and both have 10 hydrogens. With that being said, they look like they have different structures, but all the carbons are in the right place. Take, for example, this carbon, CH3. Yes, this one is pointing down, but it's still connected to the second carbon. And while this one is facing upwards, and this one is facing to the right, they're still connected to the third and the fourth carbon if we were to count from left to right. So these are not structural isomers. They are the same molecule. Let's use that for question B. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six carbons. And if you count the number of hydrogens in this line angle structural formula, you'll get 14 of them. So let's write that down. Unlike before, while the molecular formula is the same, where the carbons are branching are in different locations. Like this part right here is the same, but these two carbons are not in the same place as the other. So these are structural isomers. And finally, why does the following formula present a different structural isomer of the molecule in B? I think this one's obvious. You see how this carbon branched out after the second carbon? Well, this time, that carbon, that methyl group, branches on the 1, 2, 3, third carbon. So the formula represents a different structural isomer because the methyl substituent is on a different carbon along the main chain. So there you have it, a quick discussion on structural isomers.